guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, welcome. <laughs> my name's Danielle. I'm a freshman at the University of Georgia, just about to be finished being a freshman, which is crazy to think about, but I'm wearing my Georgia sweatshirt in honor of this video. Today I'm going to be filming a video that is super requested, so y'all better watch it, okay, because I'm doing it. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about things that I wish I knew before my freshman year of college. These are the things I wish I knew during this whole year and I'm just now realizing. So please watch this video if you're about to be a freshman in college. Maybe if you're about to be a, be a freshman in high school, this could somewhat pertain to you. But yeah, this is just a video I wish I saw. These are the things I wish I heard because a lot of these things are things that people don't ever say, but so many other people are feeling this way. So I just really wanna make this video. It's close to heart, might get a little emotional. I don't really know, but yes, enjoy the video. Also, I finally got a phone wallet and it is very life-changing. I just got my student ID right there, my credit cards. It's great. Oh, here, here's my first freshman tip. Get a phone wallet because the first thing I wish I knew is super basic, but it's okay to not be okay. No, but for real. I know that sounds really cliche, but it is so true. I came into college thinking, I'm gonna thrive, I'm gonna be in a sorority, I'm gonna love life, I'm gonna have an ultimate best friend group right away, I'm gonna be killing the game, like doing amazing in school, just like thriving, just thriving. We love that word. Okay, well I'm gonna tell you right now, unless you're really freaking awesome and you've got it all together and you knew exactly what you wanna do, you're not gonna thrive right away. I don't mean to like scare you guys by any means, but I went into college with this huge high expectation that like everything was gonna be perfect right away. And while everything might have seemed perfect to you guys, yes, I got an amazing sorority and I love my sisters now and everything like that. But at first, I was so overwhelmed. I was doing terribly in school because I was not used to being in such a huge lecture class. I had a whole new group of people that I had to get to know. I did not have best friends right away. I like just now am finally starting to find my like really good friends within my sorority and at school and everything. But this took very long. I wasn't necessarily homesick, but I was definitely missing my friends from home, like the comfort of that. I didn't feel like I had anyone that just kind of like had my back. Um, and that's like normal. And I was sad and I felt so crappy because I was like, everyone else looks like they're killing it. Like everyone else was posting all these stories. Like, yes, game day, love it. And I'm over here like, I am not completely happy. And it was freaking me out because I really thought I was just gonna come here and just be so obsessed. And like, I'm not saying I was depressed or anything, but there was definitely way more days where I was just sad and bummed and just didn't feel like I belonged, if that makes sense. And I just felt so crappy because I thought no one else was feeling this way. Then months and months go by, I'd say like November, December, I started to really get to know girls in my sorority and obviously my homemates, which I have a whole other thing I'll talk about in this video. Um, like they're awesome, we were best friends from the get go. But I finally started to like have some deeper conversations with girls and everyone else was like, no, like I felt like everyone else was having fun except for me. I was so stressed. I felt like I had to go out all the time, like all this stuff. And I thought I was the only one feeling this way. When in reality, most people I was talking to were like, no, I was literally feeling the same way. Oh my gosh, I didn't know anyone felt like this. Like I thought I was only one. Boom. So it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to get used to adjusting to things. Like that's normal. Kind of going along this, my next thing is, Everyone else is just as lost as you. Don't let them fool you. Kind of going along with the same thing. I remember seeing so many pictures, so many Snapchats, like, wow, she's really having fun. She has all these best friends already. And then I talked to those people and they were like, no, like I went out with different people every time. I didn't feel like I had that one person I could stick to. I'm not doing well in school. I'm struggling. I'm getting no sleep, like all this stuff. Like basically what I'm trying to say is yes, social media is a thing and you post your highlights on social media and I'm trying to do more of like talking about my lowlights, <laughs> my lowlights in, in videos and on Instagram and stuff because yes my life is amazing and I had such an amazing freshman year and like the beginning of freshman year was awesome like bid day was so fun like all these different things but there was also some downsides to it and I just want you guys to know like it's not gonna be this like fantasy world I mean maybe it will be for you and I hope that you guys have this amazing experience but I just wanted you guys to know like it's gonna be okay my next tip is you can say no you don't have to go out every night you don't have to do absolutely everything just because that's the thing to do, trust me, that's what I, I literally got so much anxiety about this. Like your first semester freshman year is apparently supposed to be the easiest in terms of academics so people go out all the time, they go to all these parties and like whatever it may be and people are literally going out on Monday nights or maybe that's just UGA, I don't know, I go to a party school, I'm aware. There's gonna be all these different things and you're gonna feel, at least I did, I felt like I had to be at absolutely everything, I felt like that was the way you made friends and it is a big way to make friends, I'm not saying you know, don't, but if there's a night that you're stressed or if you have a test the next day, stay in. 
all of my friends did the same thing. At first, everyone was going hard and then everyone realized like, oh my gosh, it's not the end of the world if I don't go out that night. My next thing I learned is you can always find someone who's like you, who feels the way you do. And honestly, when I first was here, I really thought I wasn't gonna find that like best, best friend. I was like, I feel like no one feels the same way I do, no one has the same aspects of life as I do, and this is not me being on a high horse. I'm just different, I'm unique, everyone's unique, everyone, whatever. So finally I just started opening up to people and I met one of my best friends, Delaney Free, what's up? We met and we started talking about, we just basically had the same aspects on life and everything and we like to have nights in, but we also like to go dance, but we also like to go to brunch, like I was just like wow, like this is real, like someone else appreciates the same thing I do. But I wouldn't have known that if I didn't open up to her and she didn't, she wouldn't have felt comfortable opening up to me if I hadn't. But what I'm trying to say is you are not alone. That's kind of what this whole video seems to be about, but like there is someone that feels the same way as you do. There is someone who has the same interests as you do. You just kind of have to put yourself out there. I joined clubs, I joined a dance team, and I met people that love to dance. It's possible you just have to put yourself out there. Keep your doors open. Like, especially the first few weeks, even the first few months if you can, keep your dorm doors open if you're in your dorm. Keep it open for socializing reasons. Like, my hallmates and I are literally a family. Like, we are sweet when whenever we talk about us not living together next year, we get depressed. We're like, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. We're gonna try and do, like, family dinners every Sunday. Don't know how that well, well that's gonna work, but we're gonna make it try because we all became so close And that's purely because the first few weeks of school We kept our doors open and we just go in and ask for scissors And then we talk about something and we also bonded because we all went through um, sorority recruitment together So we were all waking up at like 4 a.m. together blah 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 um, But my hallmates are literally my family and I would not hands down would not have gotten through freshman year if I didn't have them. Because think about it, your hallmates, the people in your dorm are the ones you're coming home to. It's kind of equivalent to your family that you went home to after school and high school or whatever. So you kind of need that comfort. I didn't know a ton of girls in my sorority yet because we all were living in different places and we only saw each other at chapter and like events. But the people you become super close with are the ones that you're living with. Me, my roommate, my hallmates, like everyone, like we just saw each other in our purest forms and we became so close. I've never laughed harder with absolutely anyone other than like my friends from high school obviously. But it felt so good to just come home to vent or just to laugh. Like literally we have shower parties all the time like everyone let's go shower, listen to music, like we're so annoying. And it's just crazy because I talked to some girls in my sorority and like they say that people on their hall do not talk to each other. And they said that's because they all just kept their doors closed the first weeks of school. And unfortunately, after the first few weeks of school, no one, it's kind of awkward, which is so annoying. On another note, I did talk about it's okay to say no, but on the other side of the spectrum, if some girls ask you to hang out, just do it, if you want, because they could be some of your best friends, but you wouldn't know. With college, like, you just have to do things to meet people, which is definitely a thing. So I know it kind of counteracts what I was saying about saying no to things sometimes, but that's just if you, like, literally don't want to, if you feel physically unable. But if some girls ask you to hang out or everyone, like, let's go get ready before, like, the social or whatever, go do it. Even if you would rather get ready in your room, like, go do it. That is how you're gonna meet people and you won't even know if they'd be your best friends until you actually hang out with them. Like, I met some of my best friends now during spring break, which is like kind of recent, but that's because we were all living in a house together, getting to know each other. Girls that I didn't know I'd be friends with, like, we're literally best friends now. Next thing I wish I knew, but I also don't regret it. It's kind of a toss up for me. Don't leave a lot on the weekends at first while in college. And this is hard because like, this, Ugh. So I traveled a lot the first semester of college. I literally had a business trip the first weekend here at UGA, which I know is kind of like a toss up. It's like, okay, you're, you're missing out meeting so many friends, whatever. But I got to go to Philadelphia and meet like 200 of y'all and do a meetup and I just didn't want to say no to that. So I left because of good reason. It wasn't because I was just going home. Like I was going for like my YouTube stuff and that's also like a huge part of my life and I love it. Um, but there's definitely times I could have stayed back, but instead I went to events or whatever it was. And I don't necessarily regret it, but I do wish um, I maybe stayed back once or twice more than I did. Just because the weekends are a great time to be here. Just do chill stuff with your friends, not have to like go to events. Because usually sorority and stuff, those kind of events are actually during the week. And on the weekends, um, I missed a lot of game days, first of all. I missed a lot of game days, um, which I'm not necessarily mad about, even though we did have an amazing season. I think sometimes what people do is they run away from their problems, and that's maybe what I was doing a little bit. Um, so maybe try not, like if you're like feeling super homesick, don't go home the first weekend because you're not going to want to go back to school. Like at first I was like, oh my gosh, like I love traveling, like I don't want to go back. Even though I loved UGA, I was just like 
loving traveling. As for academics, I have one tip. Use the office hours for your professors. Introduce yourself to your professors. Do tutoring, do what you gotta do. Because in high school, at least for me, my teachers knew my name, my the headmaster knew my name, like they were on me about getting stuff done, which was so nice. It was so nice to have people that truly cared. And I'm not saying professors at like a large school like UJ don't care about you, but they don't care enough to like reach out to you and be like, hey, how are you? You weren't at class today. Like that is simply not the case. And I kind of slacked at first because I was trying to focus on like traveling and socializing and absolutely everything else other than academics in college at first. Like honestly, I came to college and it was like sorority recruitment and then the week after is when school started and I was like, oh wait, right, I have to do school. So that's one thing I wish I did at first. Like this semester, I introduced myself to my professors. I talked to them, I asked for extra credit, but last semester, I did not try at all. And I promise you, it makes a difference. They love when students make the initiative. I went to office hours. You can do tutoring if you need. Do whatever you gotta do to do well in school. So I know like it's like the whole like C's get degrees thing, but if you're in a sorority, like they have a sorority GPA requirement. Like you cannot do any of the socializing events if you don't have a certain GPA. So yeah, those are the tips I have and I, now that I'm thinking about it, I hope I didn't like scare you guys. Like these are just things I wish I knew. So obviously they seem a little bit more negatively based, but these are just things I learned through negative experiences and positive experiences though, because I love my homemates and I love the friends I made and everything. Basically, I learned all of this recently and I'm just so happy at UGA. I cannot lie. I cannot wait to come back in the fall. Literally, I've just had so much fun. It's been a year of like learning things about myself and everything, but I just really want to make this video. I know it's really long. Oh my god, it's almost 20 minutes. I'm gonna have to edit this down, but I love you guys. I really hope you got something out of this because it was super requested. You guys are gonna kill it your freshman year. Your freshman year is going to be so fun. I have so many amazing memories. Like, I don't want you guys to think that from this video. I just wanted to talk about things that I wish I knew so I didn't go in thinking it was gonna be this amazing experience and then get let down. Because it was an amazing experience, but there was just things that happened that I wasn't expecting. So that's why I made this video. Okay, Danielle, shut up. I love you guys so much. Oh my gosh, it's insane. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.